What are the best bank accounts in Germany and what should you be looking out for when you choose one? In this video, we will compare four bank accounts that you should look into if you're an English speaker in Germany. So stick around. Hey, I'm Jen and I'm from Guatemala. <laughs> and I'm Yvonne and I'm German. And together we're from simplegermany.com where we help expats settle into life in Germany more smoothly. smoothly. Make sure to stick around until the end of this video because we will share with you a hot tip on how you can get cash without going to an ATM. <laughs> and we will also reveal which bank accounts we have actually. Yeah. Yeah, also as a reminder, all the links of everything that we will talk about, both the banks and other guides and whatnot, are going to be down in the description box below. So you can always feel free to check that out. Um, right. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Before we compare the four banks, there's a little bit of a background that you need to know of uh, banking in Germany. Yeah. So the first question, which might be an obvious one, but still let's ask it. Why do I need a bank account? Well, I would, I would say, why do you need a German bank account? Ah, fair point. Why do you need a German bank account? And that definitely um, depends on where you are originally from. Like, if you are from another EU country, you might get away without a German bank account, but I would still say get one. <laughs> um, but if you are from outside the EU, you definitely need a bank account in Germany, or a German bank account per se, because um, you need a SEPA, that's like the, the European um, financial system, uh, account to get your salary, ah, first and foremost. I mean, yeah. that's like pretty important. A company that operates in Germany um, will only pay you to a um, separate account and it will not pay it to any other account outside of the EU. Maybe even not to a, like a French, Spanish, I'm not Maybe. so sure. So get a German bank account just to, just to be there on the safe side. And second, you can only get certain services like let's say internet for mm. your home, um, a, a SIM card, um, um, any, any other uh, like service, uh, if you want to change electricity, mm. uh, anything like that you need a German bank account for. That's because in Germany, actually, it is a very common thing to have this ABO, uh, how do you say this? You this probably mean the Lastschriftverfahren. Yes, genau. <laughs> <laughs> Which pretty much means that, as Ivan mentioned, let's say the internet company have a contract with them and then they have the right to pull the money from your bank account every month. Uh, they, you need to give them the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, that's what I say. You sign the contract and you give them yeah. permission and yeah, then they have the exactly. right to pull the money of your bank account every month. And this might not be very uh, common in other parts of the world. We have a friend who lived in the US for over Just a year. Recently, yeah. And she was explaining to us how in the US it's super common to have checks. Still. <laughs> And f I have not seen a check in Germany ever since I arrived here, like in 2012. It's so slow. It's like so not safe. It's like so 1995. So I if don't you, understand. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. So 1995. So if you come from a very check driven uh, country, you just know that in Germany checks are not a thing and everything happens with the bank account. And uh, a lot of them, it's all online banking. You're able to transfer funds very easily, very quickly compared yes. to, in this case, the US where yeah. she was in, right? Exactly. Yeah. So now let's go into the, the other type of banks yes yeah okay just as a brief um, introduction what type of banks exist in Germany um, we will make it very simple mm -hmm. <laughs> simple Germany <laughs> <laughs> um, so we basically break it down in two types yeah um, one the very traditional banks um, those that you see on the streets with their branch offices um, that are a full-blown traditional bank yeah. um, and those that are disrupting the industry the the mobile banks neo banks fintech banks <laughs> or whatever you want to call them that are exclusively um, available online and um, predominantly also on the phone just with an app. Yeah and usually speaking these neo banks or fintech banks because they are startups right that they hit the market very fast with their services and whatnot they don't always necessarily have what is called a banking license mm -hmm. which in Germany you need a banking license provided by Buffin Yes, yeah. you mean a banking, you said biking. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> a banking license. You don't need a license for biking, but you need a banking license. <laughs> so so the, the banks need to, exactly, need to be approved um, by the, the German government, um, more, more, more importantly by the BaFin, which is like the, the overseeing government that, that watches over the banks to see that they're not committing fraud or whatever. Oh. Um, and that law kind of like also says that any money that is in a... Um, in a checking account, that's the account that we're going to talk about today. It's called checking or current account, like a day-to-day -day, um, banking account in German, Girokonto. Mm -hmm. um, that any money that is on that account is safe or is like secured up until 100,000 euros. So in case the bank goes bankrupt, um, there is an insurance uh, behind that that will uh, eventually pay you your money back. Um, so that all four banks you mentioned today are protected. However, not every bank has their own license because hmm. they are um, so brand new or, or relatively new, meaning they are technically only a financial service provider and they 
cooperate, cooperate with a partner bank, most often not the Solaris Bank in Berlin, who has that license. Yeah, but just it's a, it's a fun fact for you to know that out of the four banks, because two of them are quite new, they operate under the, under the Solaris Bank model. And why do we say that? Because often not there's this question um, whether it's like a real bank. Hmm. And with a real bank, usually people refer to um, banks that have their own license. Exactly. Yeah, totally. So now let's jump into our comparison. So number one on our list is Vivid Money. Yes. And uh, Vivid um, Money is one of those um, providers that doesn't have their own license yet. So that's why I say service provider. Mm. Um, and we are talking about their bank account here in our comparison. And um, Vivid is definitely disrupting um, even the mobile banking hmm. by now. Um, because next to day-to-day -day banking, they are offering um, uh, new and fancy stuff like uh, free investments in ETFs and stocks and crypto even. Um, and also really cool uh, cashback um, offers. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So now let's jump into our comparison table, which mm -hmm. you are going to take the lead on. This All time. right. So I'll take it away with our first point. Does uh, Vivid offer an English website app and customer service? Yes, yes. that is a definite yes. Um, is the uh, does the bank account come without a monthly fee? Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> What type of um, free payment card does Vivid offer? Mm. And that is a Visa debit card. So that means you will get a physical card. Yes, yes. correct. Okay. Um, does Vivid Money offer a credit card? No. Nope. Um, if you are interested in getting a credit card in Germany, we have a video about the best free credit cards that you can get that you can check out here. Exactly for cases like this where the neobanks don't offer one yet. Yeah, exactly. so it's perfect. Um, does Vivid Money offer investment uh, possibilities? Yes, as we mentioned, uh, cryptocurrency ETFs. And stocks. And stocks. Yes, absolutely. Does uh, Vivid Money offer loan possibilities? No. Mm -hmm. um, does Apple Money offer the possibility to pay with Apple and Google Pay? <laughs> you said Apple Money, but it's Vivid Money, and the answer is yes. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, now. How many or what amount of uh, cash can I withdraw for free with Vivid? Up to three times a month. All right. Cool. No, that's wrong. Oh, how many that times? That is wrong. Up to 200 euro per month. Ah, it doesn't matter how many times, but the maximum amount is 200 euros. Yes, and okay. it's also only free if you draw, draw out more than 50 euros. Ah, okay. So more than 50, less than 200. Okay. Exactly. But wait, what do you mean? So is it unlimited? No. But if you, you cannot go and withdraw like 25, 25, 25, ah. then you pay fees. Ah, so it has to be minimum 50, but no more than 200 a month and it's free. Exactly. Wow, okay. Exactly. All right, yeah. okay. Um, does Vivid Money have, a, do they charge a um, foreign currency fee when paying abroad? I don't know. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> does, uh, do they offer a overdraft? No. So what does overdraft mean? Uh, apps in Dispo. Yeah. App in Dispo is my, uh, also maybe one of my favorite German words now that I think about it. And that's pretty much that you can uh, overdraft your account. Go into minus. Yeah, yes. go into minus. Like quick, baby quick loans. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no opportunity. So if you go into minus, you, your account will be basically closed. I would say you cannot go into minus. You, your can, card it, would be rejected. It, yeah, it would be rejected. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, does Vivid Money uh, always do uh, Shufa checks? No. Not always. Mostly they don't do it, which if you don't know what Shufa is, we've also talked about it in detail in the video above. Um, Shufa is basically a credit score in Germany. So they check whether you have um, credit worthiness and most banks do that. However, um, Vivid does not always do it. So actually it's the exception if they do it. So hmm. um, especially for foreigners who don't have a Shufa score yet, it's a great opportunity to have a bank account. Yeah. Okay. Pretty yeah. cool. Um, can you deposit cash? No, not possible. So you, if you would ever get cash, you cannot put it in your bank account. Yeah. So if you work in the sense, gastronomy, right? you want to put all of your amazing mm. tips in, that is not possible with mm. Vivid. And um, how does uh, Vivid support uh, of our customer support in uh, English? In English, which is super cool, I would say through chat and 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 that's it. Or email. An email. Chat and email. <laughs> exactly. And the last one we already talked about, but just to have it uh, in the comparison table as a first glance, what type of bank is Vivid Money? A hundred percent online. Exactly. Yes. I feel All like right. I'm in a game show here. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that was Vivid Money, um, one of the four in our comparison. And I would say um, let's move on. I mean, we have the link for Vivid Money in the description below. And uh, all of the links in this video are affiliate links, meaning that if you choose to click on them and open an account, we may get a commission for it at no extra cost for you. 
So that is a way that you can support this channel. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you don't have to get a bank account to support the channel, but yeah, that's a way that you would support the channel. Exactly. The second one on our list is N26, which they are the most established fintech uh, bank in Germany. I would say they were the very first one, or yes. at least the very su first successful one. Yes. Um, and I remember I heard about N26 for the very first time with friends, um, international friends, and they were talking about N26, how cool, and I was like, what? First time I heard it, it revolutionized my life because I'm like, there's a bank in Germany that speaks English? Because back in the day, this was not a thing. Absolutely. Everything was in German. Yeah. Quite complicated. And you needed to go to the, to, the, to, the, to the branch of a bank to open your account at very specific times. Super complicated. So N26 so, revolutionized the market. Exactly. And They're, I would say they, they, yeah, they, were the first, they were the first disruptor. And uh, they paved the way for other banks like Vivid and also our third on the list to, um, to do the same, to follow them. And then, of course, offer even more um, perks. Yeah. And uh, so N26, because they've been around for a lot longer, they are actually under, they have acquired their own banking so license. They are real bank so they're like a real bank exactly <laughs> yeah and we will jump into the comparison table unless i forgot anything no, about let's it. go for it okay so here you go let's do the game show thing again <laughs> <laughs> english website app and support yes whoop, whoop. which is super cool yes um do they offer an account without a monthly fee yes mm -hmm. what type of free payment card does n26 offer and let's see if you are actually up to um up the, to date up to date exactly um so i know they they oh so now they offer a virtual card because before they used to give a physical card mm -hmm. but now you have to pay 10 euros to get a physical card correct um but you get a virtual card that you can virtual card is good for like buying things online and apple, whatnot. google pay apple google pay yeah. um however if you need a gyro card which is a maestro card yes. which is a, a lot of a lot of places in Germany, even though they accept card as a payment method, it's not all cards. Some of them only accept this Giro card, which is a very specific card. Um, and then you have to request it with N26 and they send you a physical one for free. Which they do. I mean, um, like Vivid, for example, um, does not offer a Maestro card. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. So does N26 offer a credit card? Uh, no. Exactly. <laughs> no credit card possible. So N26 does not offer investment options. Yeah. However, N26 do offer loan options up to 25,000 euros. Mm -hmm. You can um, ask for it directly through the app. Yeah, so that's cool. Um, as we just mentioned before, yes, N26 does offer Apple and Google Pay. Mm -hmm. And uh, now the question is, um, what is the limit on free cash withdrawal, uh, withdrawals ah, in the Eurozone? In the Eurozone, up to three a month. Exactly. Yes, up to three months. And um, N26 also does not offer, uh, does not have any foreign currency fees. Mm -hmm, so that's um, good. So if you pay around the world with your card. And uh, they do offer overdraft. So that is something that is different to Vivid. So you can go into minus. Yeah. yeah. And I think that is possible even up to 10,000 euro. Oh, yeah. but be careful when going into minus because obviously when you're in minus, you uh, pay interest. You pay interest. Yeah. And uh, if you don't pay that minus, you might get in trouble yeah. with hey, the shufa. This is just um, pointing, information. Yeah. Pointing out Not what motivating is, you. <laughs> pointing out what is possible yeah. because for some people it is important. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, on the, um, um, because Entry 6 is an, uh, its own bank, has its own license, they do do a shufa uh, check. Mm, okay. So they do check your credit worthiness. Mm -hmm. And um, you can deposit cash with N26. Ah, that's cool. So, so that's, that's also cool. It's like one of the few actually mobile banks that, that offer that. So what's cool, in case you don't know this, to deposit cash into your bank accounts in Germany, there are these ATMs that also have this cash deposit uh, option. Not all of them have them, but some of them have this extra drawer that you can put the money in and the counter and they put it in yeah. your account. I mean, obviously you cannot do it with every um, uh, ATM, but you can find out once you are actually a customer and you have like this uh, search finder. Yeah. And um, the support from N26 is via chat and email, mm -hmm. um, actually seven days a week. So that's super cool. Yeah, they do have a phone number that we try to call, but when you call them, it says actually use our chat. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. chat it is. Yeah. yeah. But they're very responsive there. Yeah. And um, also just to make this complete, it is an online only bank. Yes, 100% online. Yes. So that's N26. So now let's jump into the next bank. Bank number three is actually Tomorrow Bank, yeah. which I find the concept super interesting from Tomorrow Bank. So Tomorrow Bank, I think it's the very first uh, sustainable bank in Germany. Uh, what is sustainable? Meaning that all of the banks in the world, or most of them at least, they uh, use all the money that they get from clients and they invest them in um, maybe not so su not such sustainable industries like coal mining and other stuff like that. So tomorrow uh, bank promises, I wanted to say Tomorrowland, 
<laughs> Tomorrow Bank promises on investing your money only in sustainable projects, things that are going to help the earth and not kill it, pretty much. So that is a pretty cool. They they concept. started yeah, and I think now they're more diverse in what they invested in. But they started with um, you know, like your spendings. How, depending on how much you spend, they plant trees. Mm. Um, so on their web page also, if that's a thing for you, right there, you can see how many please, uh, trees have already been planted. So that's uh, their concept. Um, and they're also uh, a fintech bank, so they don't have their own license yet because they're quite new and they are partnered also with the Solaris Bank who are licensed. Yeah, so let's jump into the comparison table. All right, let's do it. So they, of course, also have an English website app and support. Yes. Whoop, whoop. They also don't have a monthly fee. Nice. Uh, at least one of their accounts mm -hmm. and um, their type of free payment card is a visa debit card which actually is a wooden visa only if card. Uh, you have the premium paid account. ah okay not yeah. everyone gets the wooden one okay <laughs> uh, they don't offer a credit card ah okay yeah that comes with a new neo card uh, new neo banking mm -hmm. and they also don't have investment options mm. yeah they also don't offer loans mm -hmm. um so they are pretty much just a day-to-day -day banking um, yeah. app that or bank account that you should use. Mm -hmm. They do offer, of course, Apple and Google Pay. Nice. And uh, the cash withdrawals per month are free up to three, three times, times a month. Exactly. <laughs> Very, good. Very good. Very <laughs> good. Um, they also don't have um, currency fees, foreign currency fees, when you pay abroad. So that's pretty awesome. So that's also cool. Um, they don't offer overdraft. Mm. So yeah. it's like I said, really just for day-to-day -day usage, mm -hmm. um, but just like vivid money because they um, are uh, don't hold their own license yet. They don't actually do super checks on all applications. Mm -hmm. So depending on how you look at it, this could be seen as an advantage, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, there, something that stands out with Tomorrow Bank is that their support is via chat and email and by phone. Oh, so I can actually call someone. You can actually call someone in English um, and not, of course, 24-7. Um, then they also direct you to the chat, but they tell you when their phone lines will be open again. Nice. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So that's definitely a USP. Yeah. A, you a unique selling proposition. There you go. <laughs> and uh, just to make this complete, also they are an online only bank. 100% online. Yeah. So now let's jump into our fifth bank, which is the Commerzbank. The classical, traditional Commerzbank, exactly. I don't know if you can go any more traditional than that in Germany. I well, would, there's tons of traditional banks. But. Yeah, I would say it's like the modern traditional bank. Yeah, okay. So let's yeah. get into it. Commerzbank, you've probably seen it if, you've, uh, if you are in Germany already all over um, the streets. Um, because they have like streets. over uh, the streets, um, over 800 branches in Germany. So yeah. that's already their, that's pretty big, their yeah. unique um, point right here. Uh, if it is important for you to um, be able to speak to a person in front of you, to mm. walk into a branch, then Commerzbank is probably the best choice for you. Um, there are, of course, other banks on the streets. However, why do we only talk about Commerzbank here is because they are one of the very, very few that offer most of the services in English. Yes. Um, there is also Deutsche Bank, however, Deutsche Bank is way more expensive, so we don't talk about them. Yes. Um, so, shall we go into, into the comparison, the comparison. table? Yes. One, one thing before um, I yes. start, since it's such a traditional bank, it really offers the full-blown banking picture. So mm. if you want anything that we haven't talked about yet, uh, Commerzbank will most likely have it. Have it, okay. Yeah. So now, to the comparison table. Exactly. So, um, first point, English website, app and support. Half. I would say partially, exactly. So here we need to distinguish a little bit. Website, some parts of the website are in English, yes. Mm -hmm. um, uh, app, 100% in English. Their banking app is actually really, really modern and really smooth to use, and it is really fully in English. Hmm. Uh, support, uh, also via the phone, of course, um, available, and you can speak, or you can ask for an English speaking agent. So, so that's um, cool. So yeah. yeah. So not fully, but good enough. Yeah. Yeah. I would agree. All right. Uh, one thing to point out, the sign up online, for whatever reason, I don't understand Commerzbank, mm. why, is still not available in English, only in oh, German. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's not Duh. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> anyways. But, um, step by step, I Exactly. Guess. Like, you can really use our trick that we've mentioned before. Use Chrome as a browser, do a right click. Um, Translate into English. And there you have it. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, the Commerzbank offers their Girokonto for free. Uh, without a monthly fee, as long as you have a monthly input of 700 mm. euro. So this is the kind of bank that I would need to kind of like set up as my salary account, salary account where I would get my salary and then it's free. Exactly. If I don't manage to get this 700 euro, it has to be one payment, right? I don't think so. Oh, okay. It has to be just at least 700 euro. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, which, yeah, if you use a salary, that should usually suffice. Yeah. Um, otherwise, you have a monthly fee. And there, for example, Deutsche Bank doesn't have that. It always costs money. 
Hmm. Um, now, the type of free payment card, uh, since it's a traditional bank, it is the EC Giro card, mm, which right. will get you the furthest in Germany, as we've just discussed before. Yeah. Um, however, they also um, offer a virtual debit card. Ah, okay, to yeah. pay online? To pay online, exactly. So, so what is this distinction? Because in Germany, you have this EC Karte, which is the, the one that we have talked about to pay kind of like cash with the card in a venue. Uh, but this it's a card that you won't be able to use online. Exactly. That's where the problem comes, right? Because you have a card, but it only works for paying at, uh, at, at places mm -hmm. physically, but you cannot pay online. So that's why these banks also offer like a virtual card that you can use that is also attached to your bank account that you can pay online with. Exactly. Yeah. So that's the distinction here. Yes. So that's like the, them being modern. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, since it's a full-blown bank, they of course offer a credit card and not just one, but different types, uh, however premium you want to go, um, against the fee. Of course, since it's a bank, there is a fee. If you want a very good free credit card, again, look at our other video on that topic. I agree, yeah. And uh, of course, they offer plenty of investment options. Mm -hmm. um, they offer loan options. Um, they have Apple Google Pay with a virtual debit card. Ah, yeah, yeah with exactly. the virtual one that you get, yeah. And um, what sets them apart, of course, since they are a branch bank that you have unlimited free cash withdrawals uh, in Germany, at mm -hmm. least, um, if you use their bank or cash group banks, which are like Deutsche Bank, Postbank, that's it. Yeah, which you can also see in the app, I would guess, where you can yeah. withdraw money. Um, however, since they're a traditional bank, they're um, not as cool when it comes to traveling because they do charge a foreign currency fee mm. um, of 1.75% on um, whatever you pay wow. abroad. Okay. Yeah, Which abroad meaning outside, abroad outside of Europe. Yeah, so uh, if you pay... EU, outside of EU. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> outside, well, I would say... Outside of Euro. Yeah. La gran. Europe, EU, Euro. Outside <laughs> of the Eurozone. I was going to say, if it's anything else that is not Euro, it's a currency. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, overdraft is, of course, possible. Mm -hmm. Again, of course, uh, for, for a certain interest fee. And uh, most definitely, they will do a Schufa check. Yeah, because it's a more <laughs> traditional bank, of course. Exactly. Uh, of course, there's cash deposit possible, either in the machines that Jen mentioned before or in, in person. In French, yeah. yeah. And uh, like I mentioned in the beginning, there is support via email, um, phone, and in person mm -hmm. also. They don't have a chat because that's only for the modern people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And to complete the whole comparison table, uh, what kind of bank they are? A branch bank. Yeah, well, with <laughs> online possibilities, right? Definitely, but they're, yeah. But they're mainly a branch bank, but they do have these online possibilities. Like you can still transfer money online. 100%. You don't need to go to a branch to do the banking stuff. No, 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 no. But you have like the said, possibility to go to a branch. The app is like, really, really, um, like it, it has everything that they offer um, and it's, it's very smooth to use. Yeah. Okay, so that rounds up the comparison for the four best banks in Germany for English speakers. So we hope that was helpful to you. And as promised, so what hot tip do we have for taking cash when we don't have so many cash withdrawals because we are limited or it's not free or whatnot? So what's the tip here? Exactly. So this is mainly also for the like the neo banks, but even my, myself, it's been ages since I've gone to an ATM to take mm, on money because, because whenever you go grocery shopping, ah. so at any supermarket, Lidl, Aldi, Rewe, Edeka, it does not matter. Um, you just have to remember at checkout before the cashier finishes your checkout to say, ah, I want to take out 50 euro. Oh, I want to take out 100 euro. And how would you ask that in German? Um, ich nehme noch 100 euro. Yeah. Like I, I take an, an additional 100 euro. Yeah. Oder yeah, that's how you say it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, so if you don't have a perfect German, you can just say that and replace, obviously, 100 for the amount that you want. Exactly. 50, 20, or whatever. Yeah. And then uh, they will give you cash. Exactly. Well, uh, which means you, going to the ATM every time. And it's so smooth. It's it really, it, it stops you from, from doing the extra work to the ATM and you have it right there when doing your groceries. So that's actually the number one way that we take cash out nowadays. Yeah. yeah. And also, as promised, which cash, uh, which banks do we and, have? Sorry, just to, to, to double check that yeah. these grocery, uh, these, these takeouts at supermarkets don't count as the cash uh, withdrawals um, ah, very that important. are limited in these neobanks. Mm -hmm. So the, the amount like 200 euro or like, like uh, three times um, a month only counts for an actual ATM. Ah, so in that case, it's kind of unlimited if you use that trick. Exactly. Ah, you see? Yeah, that was a good roundup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now, now, as promised, which bank accounts do we have? <laughs> so you probably have heard from the details that we've like put into this review that um, I have been a Commerzbank uh, customer for ages. Yeah, and I've been an N26 uh, customer ever since I heard about them for the very first time. Yeah. So much that I actually closed my Stadtsparkasse account and moved to N26. And now you're probably wondering which 
bank should you choose? It really depends to you. We don't have a general, you should definitely pick this one is over the rest because it really depends on what you're looking for, what your lifestyle is. So if I wouldn't have an N26 account, I would definitely look at Vivid Money and tomorrow as strong contenders. Vivid Money, I would be super interested because I am interested in investing in ETFs, cryptocurrency and all these things. If I would not be interested in that, definitely tomorrow bank really resonates with me just because of the whole sustainability concept, which I find super unique and cool. Um, and how about you? So since I'm happy with Commerzbank, to be honest, I have, I've always had good customer service. Um, I mean, they, that's a strong word. I was just going to say the P word, but they've annoyed me a couple of times. Uh -huh. um, for example, <laughs> with, their, with their credit card charges. So those, uh, I cancel my credit card with them, but mm -hmm. I still have my, my free account since, you know, I, I pay in more than 700 euro a month. Um, but if that wouldn't be the case, I would look in any of the three and probably um, look more in detail again what what do I want from a bank? What resonates most with me? Mm -hmm. And from what my research has shown me, I would probably resonate most with Vivid. Hmm. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah. Also because of the investment possibilities, yeah. I would say. Yeah. So the choice is yours. Whichever bank account you choose to, to, to pick, really it's up to you. And if you pick any of the four that we have mentioned in this video, please use our links, which are in the description box below. Again, we get a small commission if you decide to, to open a bank account with no additional cost to yeah. you. So it's like free. And if you don't, you don't need to get a bank account. Exactly. To don't support be pressured. <laughs> <laughs> the easiest way that you can support Simple Germany and spread the word so the, this video reaches to other internationals in Germany is to hit that like button and that subscription bell. Um, subscription bell. Oh, that's a new, there should be a new button called subscription bell. Subscription button with the notification bell. <laughs> and if you want to go the extra mile, you can uh, go ahead and also click on our coffee link below. And that is a page we set up um, where we can receive small donations from you to support our channel in form or in the in the in the value of a coffee. Yeah. So it's kind of a cool concept. And um, uh, this is also a shout out to all of you coffee supporters that have already um, donated there for us uh, to us. Um, thank you so much. Um, this really allows us to keep going and uh, release new videos every Monday. Yeah, totally. So that wraps it up for us today. And we hope you have a great week and see you next Monday. Cheers. Cheers.